next young man <laughs> that we about to um, <laughs> introduce comes to us by way of Seattle, Washington. Nice. What's up? Yeah, <laughs> and he's been in the music scene for quite some time. Maybe not always as an artist, but definitely as a fan. Yeah, 100%. He expressed that to me the other day. And he's of Native American descent. Yeah, 100 Have to be. He got that in yeah. his blood. Please welcome Travis Salute. Thompson yeah. to the show. What up, Travis? Thank you for having me. For real. Thank Absolutely, you. man. Travis Thompson. Which which tribe is Thompson from? I don't uh, get it. My dad is full blood Navajo. Navajo? Yeah, yeah, from the Window Rock Reservation in Arizona. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so like split between Seattle and the rest. Explain that to folks when you say the Window Rock Reservation. Yeah, it's the Navajo Reservation in Window Rock, Arizona. Okay, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and what is the reservation life like? I mean, it's like the poorest of the poor, you feel me? Like there's no jobs, there's no way to get out of that poverty, you feel me? Uh-huh. And, uh huh. But like just seeing my family on both sides, like my family in Seattle and my family on the res, and just seeing both, like kind of like taught me a lot about like the human experience and just like. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. When your family here, you know, in a news cycle and, and people um, talking about patriotism and what yeah. it is to be an American and and then your folks were here before any of us uh, yeah. uh, or most of us, how does that make you feel? I mean, it. I mean, like, there's definitely that, like, that hurt there. But at the end of the day, like, I know what I look like and I reap the benefits of what that looked like. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? But, like, but I see both and that's why I feel like I can be an advocate for, like, I can tell people, like, white people, because white people need to learn, like, what the hell's going on with this shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. and I feel like I see both so I can, like, have a voice to, like, speak or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you say yeah. you know what you look like, you mean Bob, that Bobby Brady <laughs> thing you got going on right yeah, now? Yeah, you know, the Annie Milanakis thing. You know what I'm okay. saying? But I'm here, bro. I'm here. I'm here, bro. I'm chilling. <laughs> Who, who informed you coming up in the game? Was it Nirvana? Was it Macklemore? Who was it in From Seattle? From Seattle? Yeah. I mean, like, the Blue Scholars, okay. Macklemore, uh-huh. uh, like, there's hella legendary people in Seattle. Like, even, like, the people I came up with, like, Saul and Rad Simone and Dave B and all these great people from Seattle, like, uh-huh. really putting on and, like, showing people that it's possible and, like, being from Seattle and fucking with the music industry is attainable, you know what I'm saying? So I'm uh-huh. trying to keep that shit going. Um... You know, I was. I'm trying to think. Last time I was in Seattle was for a, a, a family reunion. Oh, okay. Right, and then you also you got the tech industry that's up there as well. Yes, so. yeah. Amazon took over a little bit. It's fucking everybody ran up, but it Talk is what it is. It is what it is. The rent went up. I mean, yeah. I mean, completely. Like Amazon moved in and like it pushed everybody south. You feel me? Like, yeah. Like I live south of the city and like it's like not affordable even to where I'm at. People are like from OG Seattle are having to go like south of me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. King Tech's daughter work at Amazon. I mean, it's all I got homies working at Amazon. You got to get paid, but like, it's still fuck Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. What was Damn, that? Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> Should I, I mean, hundred percent. If you were from like everyone in Seattle, is like, yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, Speak your it, truth. It is what it is. it is what it is. Yeah, right? I'm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, my 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 niece works there. Don't don't. <laughs> no, nah, bro. It is my my like one of my main producers works there. It is what it is. It is what it, it is. is. Growing up in a um, public school system out there, what was it like? Yeah, I mean, like I'm from an area where it's it's like majority like Latino. It's like Latino and white, so like just growing up with like hella Mexican friends, and just like it's it's, it's I'm from like one of the most second, it's like the second most diverse like district in the nation. You feel me? So I grew up with hella different kids. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. It's You're cool. so West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Hello, hello, yeah. hello. No, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up skating and shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Travis Thompson is here. Tracy, when I <laughs> yeah. yeah, Travis. So I don't know. I oftentimes love hearing from rappers the perspective of how women influence their sound. Oh, what? you know what I mean? Yeah. Influence what they could possibly like show off on the gram, things like that. Because I've just always heard that whatever men do is for female attention. Oh, word. Do you agree I mean, with this? I mean, a lot of what men do is for female. I mean, a lot of what men do in general is for attention. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I don't know, but I mean, there's a lot of great women who influence like me. Like, the score was the first album my dad ever showed me. So, like, mm-hmm. Lauren Hill was like as a child my favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, 100%. He said the yeah, score. Yeah. He went to the Fuji. Yeah, no, that's like my favorite. That's like top five for me. That's, that's my top favorite. five. Yeah. You've had a chance to open up for Macklemore? Yeah, we just did, uh, for this last album, we did the Nationwide Tour. Yeah. How'd yeah, that yeah. happen? Bro, like, I my one of my main producers is uh, was working on him with for the new album, uh-huh. and he just been putting my music in his ear. And then one day I saw him backstage at a show. He's like, oh, yeah, we should do something sometime. And uh, then I got a text one day to come to his studio. We made that song Corner Store with Dave mm-hmm, B. Mm-hmm. And then I got a text like three weeks before tour that was just like, hey, bro, trying to come on tour with me? And I was like, fuck you mean? Hell yeah, I'm trying to go on tour with you. You know what I'm saying? And like, that shit changed my life. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can you rap really fast? Like, I feel like you have a twist of flow. Uh, no, nah, I don't be rapping fast like that. Oh. Am I talking hella fast? Hell yeah, nigga. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> my bad shit. Fuck I don't even mean? know. Yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm having fun though. You're having fun. 
how good. Man. <laughs> Heather, he was on Jimmy Fallon too. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did the song Corner Store. Wow, dope. Yeah. Did you write dope. on that song? I wrote. I that was the first part of the song. Like I wrote the verse, and then the next day they came in and did everything else. So that song was based off like the verse. Did you Did you get publishing? I mean, yeah, I got publishing on it. Look at my man right <laughs> here. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. The fuck you independent, mean, independent, bro. You have to, bro. You have to. My paperwork's straight. That's dope. <laughs> All right, cool. He got a project called You Good, um, and we're going to feature him on TRL. He's going to do our breakfast bar segment. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Okay, but first, you got to do this right here. He in the Valley of the Hyenas. Hyenas. Let's get it. But hold up, hold up, hold up. Roll up, roll up. Oh. Pre premature right there. Um, you good is out now. It's had yeah. so much success. Tell people how many uh, streams it's got. Well, it just passed a million streams on Spotify in like a month. So nice. like, yeah, that's different. That's changed. You know what I'm saying? I'm grateful as hell. Yeah. Like, girls, crazy. girls on you now. I mean, yeah, I got a lady, so I do my best to be a good man and make my mama proud. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but cool, cool, it's cool. different now for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't grow up. I ain't grow up with attention like that. So it's different now for yeah. sure. What's your lady think about it? What's she say? <laughs> I'm, I mean, bro, I'm with her 24 seven. So anything I see, she sees. You feel me? Good I'm man, right that. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Y'all, y'all share the same vision. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, she works hard. She produces all the videos. Like she like sets them oh, up. Oh, nice. You know what I'm saying? So like, and like music videos is where I shine. So like, she gets to be on set and like. On it, like I ain't shit without like the work she's put in. You feel me? So like, how could I do her dirty? Come on, you know what I'm saying? Travis like, Thompson, man. I like but that. I could have just fucked myself up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a good man. <laughs> I'm not trying to like have an ironic ass sway quote and then fuck uh, this up. No, okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> 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 not real shit. I love you though. I love you though. I love you, Nessa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give out your social media, man. It's Travis X Thompson. So Travis, the letter X Thompson, that's everywhere. Travis X Thompson, yeah. and um, make sure you pick up the project. You good? We're gonna play the song called "Came True." What you want to tell us about this? Came true. I'm rapping on there. That's my favorite song on there. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, here it is. Sway in the morning. Shade four five. First to rock. Let's go. My man Travis Thompson. The, baby, this whole world is cold as shit I seen a man tell my daddy to control yo I hold the key my lap I hold the world my grip So you can hold your next <laughs> Cause bitch, I'm it You feel me? Tip top shake You feeling pissed off? Great I bought a loft in my bag I been in that bitch all day I skip on every event And you pull up list by eight I roll and eat enough lemon pepper Make Rick Ross faint I need my wristwatch eight But time can wait for all of that shit Fuck your hip hop takes And your little video reactions I'm the motherfucking Son of every man who had his hands up Make him stand up off a stanza I'm the sinner, I'm the answer You beginner, my demand up Pass out cynicism pamphlets In the green room with these rappers Talking like they got they bands up No, 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 baby, see, we do not believe you You heard it here, don't let the internet deceive you I lead you to the promised land Just a little problem, child Skipping on tomorrow plans I wake up, I've been gone for hours This is just a warning A baby face loser from Seattle is now important The numbers can prove that I'm a problem So check the score, bitch Don't ask me for shit Because you probably can't afford it Feel like Stanley closed the trunk all on a warden I got zero fucking patience for opinions And anybody lying like you good ain't fucking genius It's my season, hold up Get it. Be important hey. now. Be right. important now. He ain't a baby face losing no more. Come on. At all. At all. They don't believe you. You need more people. <laughs> Travis Thompson. That was what a dope. flow. Oh.